This is the Origin 5 watt amplifier from Marshall. Let's check it out. G'day folks, you were listening to the Marshall Origin 5 amplifier, let's take a closer look. One of the great things about this amp is how functional and easy it is to use. We have a power on and off switch, a high and a low output, there's no standby on this amp, so as soon as you click it on, it's on, then you can either run it at full 5 watts or you can drop it down to low. It has a 3 band EQ, treble, middle and bass, as well as a tilt control which kind of adds in a little bit more treble the further this way you have it, so the further clockwise the brighter it's gonna get. I found for at least all of my guitars, most of the way down is pretty much where it sounds best. And we have a volume control, and that is it. You can click this up to get more gain, or a boost as they call it, or you can click it down to get a cleaner tone, and that's essentially it. Here's the back of the amp. One of the really great things about it is the fact they've included an effects loop. I'm not a huge fan of the position of the effects loop, especially if you're just using one pedal and you wanna use short cables. It's a little bit of a pain, and, but that said, at least they've included one, so you might want to just use some regular guitar cables if that's what you want to use. We also have a foot switch where you can turn the effects loop on and off, which is great, as well as go between the pull boost on and off, which is on top of the amp. So that's really, really great. Just two things to point out. This amp's loaded with an 8-inch speaker, and it's also off-centered to the left. It's almost all the way over. So we're going to mic this up with a Rode M3 microphone, which is one of my favorite mics and we'll take it from there. Huge thanks to Sky Music for letting me borrow these. If you want to find out more about them, all the links will be on screen and in the description below. Let's do it. All right, let's get into it. Today I'm playing my Fender 52 reissue Telecaster loaded with a set of Joe Barton Danny Gatton pickups. As you can see, we have the volume of the amp all the way open, but the boost is currently off. We'll try that in a sec, thanks to the foot switch I have on the floor. So this is neck pickup. <laughs> It's a whole lot cleaner than this. Bridge. Volume control down. Sounds pretty wild. Let's try it with some delay now. I've got the Citec digital delay going into the back of the amp through the effects loop. I'll turn that on via the foot switch on the floor.
And now with the boost off, I'm gonna leave the delay on, but we're gonna try some overdrive thanks to the Versus Audio straight flush pedal. I almost called it the Royal Flush. <laughs> this is bridge. <laughs> Yeah, now with some fuzz, thanks to the fuzzy tail pedal. Over to my Dan Electro 64 electric guitar, it's loaded with a humbucker and a P90. Now have a listen to this, when I add some fuzz and some wah, it goes crazy. This is pretty awesome, here we go. Awesome. I've turned off all the other effects, so all I've got on now is some delay going in through the effects loop, and I'm on the high gain setting of the amplifier. We're gonna see what the tilt control does. Let's give this a shot. The volume of the amp now is about halfway. I've turned off all the other effects. This is neck pickup. We'll see if we can get a dead clean tone. I'd say that's pretty clean. The volume of the amps dropped at least 50%. Let's crank it back up and we'll take a look at the power attenuator. We've been in high mode the entire time. Over to low mode. That's easily a 50% reduction in volume. Let's try it now with the boost on in low mode. Now back to high. Cool. Thanks for watching guys, my name's Shane. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So what do I think of this particular amplifier? 
it's all right. I'd probably give it a six out of 10 if I was to give it a scale. I wasn't as overly blown away by it as I thought I would be. Now to put it into some kind of context, I've already tried the 20 and the 50 and both of those absolutely rock. This one was a little disappointing. It doesn't sound bad. If you're just after a home amp, it's gonna do the job. It won't do anything other than that. I didn't even know how much I liked the recorded tones and that's the best I could get this amp to sound. In terms of the 20 and the 50, both of those sound great as soon as you crank them up. So this amp has its limitations. If you like this particular tone, you're gonna to love it. For me personally, it's maybe not for me, but that said, like I mentioned, if that's the sound you like, it's all subjective stuff, then go ahead and pick one up. Do I like it more than the Bigera V5 Infinium? I think so, but not by much. It's kind of like, I feel like the Bigera is maybe cleaner and louder, whereas this gets a little bit fizzy. So I don't know, food for thought. Thanks again for watching folks. My name's Shane. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell. I have a full review of the 20 as well as the 50 coming up. So come back for more. Catch you soon. See ya.